Play. Create a new profile. New game. I'm going on a trip to the mountains. A new adventure awaits. There's someone waiting for me. On the platform. Oh, I can already see the station. We're nearly there. How to play. Here is our hero. There's a button lying here. Indicate it. Teddy will come and pick it up. Now indicate the magpie. Teddy Floppy Ear will talk to her. Hello, Teddy. Hello. I found a button. Do you want it? Oh, yes. Quickly indicate a place on the board twice and Teddy will run instead of walk. If you want Teddy Floppy Ear to move like this all the time, indicate Always Run in the game settings. This arrow means moving to another scene. Bravo! Now you know how to play. Let's begin. Are you looking for Teddy? Here is my uncle! Hello, Uncle Henry! Hello, Teddy. I'm glad you came. But, but, oh, lavender landschaft. I need a few more tubes of paint for the plein air. Teddy, why don't you walk home alone? It's a small town. Twelve Large Street. I am going to the shop just around the corner. Can you find your way home? Sure I can. 12 Larch Street. The train leaves in 20 minutes. How do you like the mountains, Teddy? I only just got here, Mom. This is a cable car station. The carriages take tourists high into the mountains. No, no. No ticket, no ride.
A hundred brown hedgehogs. The key which was hanging on the peg is gone. And what did it open? The basement. There's a camera for you there. Will I be taking photos? Yes. Make sure you take it with you to the mountains today. I have a special task for you. I need to go now to prepare an artistic plein air for us. Oh, wow! And, and what is that? <laughs> a plein air is a place where artists go to paint. Like an atelier, but in the open air. But where will this plein air be? Take the tourist route towards the forest. The way is marked with white and green signs. You'll go past a smallish rock with symbols carved on it and there's a meadow behind it. I'll be waiting for you there. Remember about the camera. I'll start with finding the lost key. No. This is Uncle's workshop. And what's that flashing outside the window? No, no. No, no, no. No. Hello, little bee. In the night, a big bear from the forest keeps sneaking into our hive, treading on the flowers in the garden. We can share our honey with him, as long as he doesn't tread on the garden. Help us. If I meet this bear, I'll talk to him. Little bee, whose is the nest here on the tree? A magpie? Where have I seen her? No. Uncle asked me to take the camera on the trip. Hello, Bear. What? Where? Ah, a little bear. Ah. Hello. What were you thinking about? About sweet honey. <laughs> The bees are complaining that you tread on their flower beds. 
flower beds? Ah, the bees are buzzing, defending their honey. They can sting, and I want some honey. How about asking them nicely? Maybe they'll offer you some honey. Anyway, I have nothing to put it in. I have an idea. Why don't I bring a container for honey from home? No, oh, no. Do you want a biscuit, Daddy? No, thank you. No. found a key lately? Ah, yes, a shiny one. I found it here. It was lying on the ground. Uh, I thought it was nobody's. This must be the lost key to my uncle's basement. I have it in my nest. I'll come to the garden and I'll give it back.
no. Daddy Floppy Ear, here is the key. Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. A key? It must be for my uncle's basement. No! Oh, there's a camera on the table. A camera! I love taking photos. A pot! You can keep bits and bobs in it. No. No, no. I need to get properly ready for the trip. Indicate five objects which I should take with me to the mountains. You're getting close. Most things will be useful. Nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there. Yes, this is exactly what I'm going to put in my rucksack.
Here you go, an ideal pot for honey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> thank you. I'll go and say sorry to the bees. And I'm going to see my uncle. No. Here. The mountains look beautiful at whatever time of the year. Look, now we are surrounded by luscious green. In autumn, the leaves are golden and red down there. While in winter, everything is covered by a white and blue cover of snow. I look at it carefully and then try to capture it in my paintings. I'd like to paint like you do, Uncle. So let's see if you have an artist's soul in you. Have a look around the meadow. Options. 